We often want to copy a file name in order to paste it somewhere, like a program or a document. Here we are standing on numbers2.txt file. The directory is C. My projects, data files. If you press Ctrl Enter, the file name will appear down this line, which is called command line, not to be confused with Windows console window, also known as the command line. Now press Shift F2 to move the focus to the command line. This will select this text, and now you can use Ctrl C to copy the file name. Press Escape to clear the text from the command line. Press Escape again to return the focus to the Files panel. If you press Ctrl Shift Enter, you will get the full path of the file. If you press Ctrl P, you will get the directory of the file. The double commander's command line has a more general use and will have a dedicated video about it, but for copying file names there is a shorter way. Press Ctrl Shift X to copy the file name. Let's paste it in Notepad. Press Ctrl Shift C to copy the full path. Let's paste it too. These shortcuts work also on a selection of files. Let's select the file and the two directories and press Ctrl Shift C. Now let's paste it. Now let's press Ctrl Shift X and paste it too. To copy only the directory name use the Ctrl P with the command line as I showed you earlier. I'll show you how to find all the keyboard shortcuts in another video. To rename the file, press Shift F6. You can now rename the file, but as an extra conveniency you can press again Shift F6 to select only the file name without the extension. Let's rename it to Numbers 3. Let's press Shift F6. Then again. Then a third time. This will select only the extension. Let's change the extension to CSV. If we want to copy the file to the other panel but give it a different name, like making the extension .txt again, we can copy the file and then rename it on the other panel. But there is a shorter way. I showed you that to copy a file you need to press F5 and then enter. But now notice that in the dialog that opens, before pressing enter, you can actually change the file name. Now press enter to do the copy, and there we have the same file under a different name on the right panel. The same renaming process can be applied to the move operation, which is invoked by F6.